Okay, congratulations to those who have finished lesson one and lesson two. So we are now in lesson three, which is stages of research. So in this lesson, we will discover the different research processes and its steps para tama pa conduct research. Okay, so important mong good guys na we know where we are going uh, and we are guided with um, the stages of the research when we conduct research. So, para dito mga sahan sa to research, ang bilitas, sige, pangutahan ng mga sir, say sunod, ani sir, and say sunod. So, you know naman, I, um, I hate some students na we ask questions that the answer is common sense. So, please, you are in the college level, so, Please explore and review and be okay. Sorry for any background noises. I know I'm not video okay, baby. Hopefully, the mission will not go back to the recording. Anyways, research methods are the tools for conducting research. So, research is a term used liberally for any kind of investigation that is intended to uncover interesting new facts. So all researchers basically engage several activities of the particular na mga methodology chosen for the research. So when we conduct research, we follow, as I said, we follow research stages. Investigate the current situation and identify the problems effectively. So these steps will basically guide the researcher, as I said earlier, on the correct an appropriate way to conduct the research study. So I will, oh, okay, kanta pa girl. Kanta pa? <laughs> okay, read, read the introduction and answer the activity analysis part of the lessons. So basically, as I, this is always happening in every lesson. Okay, girl, kanta pa. So, okay, record na to. Record. <laughs> anyway, so, you will need to submit your answers in the LMS. Okay, so this is the um, stages of research. So there is a in-depth, specific discussion of the stages of research. So please read on the module the different stages and each discussion of the stages. Importante na mabasa ninyo dito sa module, okay? Para dilit magsigita na tala. First, step or stage of the research is basically to look for problems. Hindi man na pwede mag-conduct of research na wala tayo gina-answer na problem. Okay? So, you need to look, select the problem and the problem that you need to identify should be relevant to the variables that you want to study and must be relevant to the society. Ay na mga problem na malay... <laughs> Walay, ano, walay sense. May meto na siya pilihan. Okay? So, the research problem should be consequential enough to warrant investigation. Eh, kung mumili na itong problem na ma-answer na ito common sense, so, di na lang natin siya. Padayon nga research. So, dapat, ma ano po siya, ma-justify siya na kailangan yun din siya i-research. Okay? So, the answer to the problem is not already available, but the means for finding solution are available through the conduct research. Okay? For example, let's say a problem that you identify is do college students who are taught with programming through blended learning approach score higher on college students who are taught through traditional approach? Okay? So you will conduct research to answer those problems. Or, for example, um, meron bang effect um, uh, flexible learning through uh, in college students today in terms of their academic performance. So, you can do that. Okay? So, we'll have an in-depth discussion on this as the monitoring stages of research. And then, after you have selected your problem, you must have uh, identified the variables, the independent and the dependent variables. Okay? So, you will proceed now to reviewing the literature, sir. I believe you have 
Mahala. Ano na sigurad ninyo? Parang na, na-hear na sigurad ninyo ka ng RRL, which is Review of Related Literature. So, dapat masoro ninyo review with the relevant literature to gain more understanding on the problem and the variables that you have selected. And insight into the problem and what research may already have done. Kasi nanan din na ito kung na research din. Pwede nyo i-replicate, pwede nyo i-sabon, uh, uh, or pwede nyo i-listen ang subjects. And maybe there are researches that na ano pa, um, question mark pa lang siya inaday dito sa literature and then you will answer it out based on for your research. Nagagot na kung saan ang kanta. <laughs> Karong dito siya magkanta na nag-record ko. Just focus in my voice and in the PowerPoint. Okay. So, next is to design the study. So, ito na yung parang chapter 2, which is the methodology. And the investigator's next plan is, nakabalo na mo sa problem, nakabalo sa objectives, and then you already have defined and discussed the related literature. Now, you, you will be proceeding to designing the problem, uh, the, the study or research goal. Kung saan method na meton, kung saan mga data na i-gather, and where, and how, and um, what are the constraints that needs to be considered, validity, etc. So, quantitative researchers maintain that once this research plan is set forth, it must be followed. Okay? So, next is to collect the data. So, collecting of the data is through research instrument also that you will be designing. So, the data collection for this pandemic is through online, supposedly um, face-to-face future, but we can utilize technologies that are available to collect the data. And then we analyze the data by um, using statistical tools. So we'll have a in-depth discussion on analyzing data. And then, of course, na ang result. Hindi man pwede niyo explain na niya siya ang result. So, in, there must be an interpretation of the findings and stating conclusion. So, the researcher next tries to interpret the result in terms of the research problem. And quantitative researchers make statements about the probability that such findings is due to a chance and concludes the hypothesis. And then, you will need to report the findings. So, it can be through presentation, that, that is a requirement in this, sub, in this course, or through poster, or through publication. Okay? Um, we will have an in-depth discussion of this, and how to write the, the paper in our Module 5. Okay? Nakamanta sa Module 1. Okay, so again, please read the in-depth discussion of the stages of research. Please uh, uh, instill in your minds na mauna siya ang step-by-step procedure in conducting our research. Okay, we'll proceed now with research variables. So research researchers, especially quantitative researchers, find it useful to think the same way with variables. So a variable Take note, na na siya sa module, define na to that a variable is a construct or a characteristic that can take on different values or scores. Okay, researchers study variables and the relationships that exist among of these variables. Example of this is height. Okay, it's an example of a variable. Academic performance, student grades. Okay, these are examples of variables. It can vary in an individual from one time to another among individuals at the same time, among the average for groups, and so on. Social class, gender, vocabulary, intelligence, spelling test scores, or other examples of variables. Um, in a study now, concerned with the relation of the student programming skills to GPA, this is the average grade among college students. The variables of interest are the measures of programming skills and the measures of their GPA. So there are different ways to measure imuhang programming skills. Pwede na ay ka ng standardized programming test para ma-determine kung unsa yung katakaod sa imuhang skills programming. Okay, or grades in your programming class, etc. So, any of these measures could also represent the variable student programming skills. Okay, sige na natin in-depth discussion. 
So we will now um, discuss um, variables according to their number of categories. So let's say categorical, when you say categorical, these are discrete and qualitative variables. So quali categorical variables can be categorized in nominal, ordinal, or dichotomous. When we say nominal, uh, you can read that in the uh, description. Uh, nominal are two or more categories. Example is, kung uh, i-classify sa isang real estate agent ang types of property, like houses ba, condo, or bungalow ba siya. So, these are nominal. Of note, the different varieties of nominal variable can also be referred to as groups or levels of the nominal variable. Ordinal, these are variables that have two or more categories that can also be ordered or ranked. Okay? Example, you have a variable economic status. Okay? Na low, medium, high. Okay? So, basta ordinal, kuan siya ka ng nakamrank siya ang variable. Okay? Ang nominal variable is still categories pero dili siya nakamrank. Wala siya order. Okay? Ang nominal. Ang ordinal na siya ay rank. Okay? Then, we do have dichotomous. Dichotomous variables. Mga nominal kaya po niya ng variable. Ang dichotomous. Ang nung say dichotomous na lang siya ay duha ka category. Kung sa example, ano, na duha lang eh, ang variable na duha lang ka category. Sa so, programming na tayo example na, which is the Boolean variable, the true or false. So, doon naman na, di ba? And sa, ano, sa research siguro, um, gender, I haven't seen um, sex, yeah, sorry, sex. So, it will be male or female, okay? And then, we do also have polycotomous. Polycotomous variables are those with nominal variables na multiple or more than one na categories. Example would be um, example, um, such uh, a year level is ano siya, ordinal. It's still polycotomous. Year level is first year, second year, third year, fourth year, but it's an ordinal. No, ordinal kaya nakarang siya, no? First year, second year, third year, fourth year. Pwede siguro section. Uh, not section. Program kung saan enrolled niya na program. So, polycotomous. So, sa DNSC, di ba, dagang tag program sa type BS Ed, BS ID, BS IS, BPA, um, BS Fisheries, etc. Okay? Then, another type of variable according to number of categories is continuous variable. So, continuous variable are quantitative variables. That means, um, ano siya? Um, um, na continuous siya. Okay? That means na siya uh, numeric value na continuous siya. Um, when we say pasaka siya o pababa siya. Okay? So, example of that would be um, age. Okay? Or height. Or weight. Interval variables are variable. Uh, continuous variables can, can be uh, further classified into interval and ratio. Interval variables are variables that can be measured by value. So, it is example, and that is, let's say, um, the temperature. Okay? An uh, interval variable is similar to an ordin ordinal variable, though, except that the intervals between the values of the interval variable are equally spaced. Ratio variables are interval variables but with added condition that zero of the measurement indicates that there is none of that variable. Then another one is variables used in an experiment. So ito na yung see, independent and dependent variable which we have um, discussed earlier in our lesson 2. So independent variable is sometimes called an experimental or predictor variable. So example Anna is Let's say, example, is the post-pretest, uh, the pretest, okay? Uh, take a look at the um, 
independent variable causes change in the dependent variable. And it, it, it isn't possible that the dependent variable could cause change in independent variable. So, it's not even possible that we can get dependent because the dependent variable is dependent to whatever change in the independent variable. Okay? So, I want you to explore more on this in, in terms of experimental design on the different examples of uh, research that utilizes independent and dependent variable, which are experimental research. Okay? And I want you to read on the um, on our uh, module about this. Napunta yung ginagawag na fulcrate variable and abstract variable and variable according to the number of studies. So, univariate, you only have focus on one variable and bivariate, two variables, polyvariate, multi-variables on your study. Okay? So, I want you to analyze this diagram. I might be asking some people uh, to answer this. Um, okay, I, uh, please analyze that. I might, I might give you an activity about that on this diagram, okay? Okay, so please read the entire module and answer the application part of the lesson. So that ends our lesson 3 and basically ends our entire module 1. Congratulations!